Tons of power, tons of range. It is super, super fast. I rarely would ever like gun it to full speed. Josh here today. I want to share my quick thoughts on the Meepo Aurora. Now, this was a board that was actually purchased by my friend. He actually got it through some very hard times and I ended up getting it for, for little to nothing. So my backfire, whatever that was, hammer, it was absolutely unusable. It would literally pop my tire every time, <laughs> every time I went out. So the Meepo Aurora is actually, as far as performance, as far as speed, as far as just everything I would expect in a board, it's, it is super, super fast. I rarely would ever like gun it to full speed. It definitely has like a nice um, standout look. The whole board is supposed to light up around the, all the edges of the deck, but only half of it does. And before my friend gave me this board, apparently he contacted Meepo and they said they're going to send him a new deck. And I don't know if he ever got it. Uh, I don't know what, what happened to it, but it's all right. It works. It's fine. It's just it's more of like the cosmetic stuff. So that was like probably one of the bigger selling points of this board because like for only like $100 more, you get the same thing, but with just like tons more range. Like I think only like maybe like 10 miles more range, which is actually a lot on Eastgate. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I'm lucky or if I just need to like understand belts and look, get better with belt drive boards, but it seems like belts snap way more often than they should. You need like a belt guard or else like stuff gets in there and then it starts like eating up the belts and like just ruining the drive period. And they just seem to break like 100, 150, 100, 150 miles, you're gonna have one break. And it's just like, it's kind of annoying. And I know it's stupid for me that I didn't learn how to do it, but all the belts snapped on this board. My friend who kept putting on the new belts, like he's, you know, been riding East Gates for a long time. He's been switching belts for a long time. He like knows what he's doing. I would trust him to like look at the belt tension and like agree that it's like not too crazy. I think it was like three different belts and all three belts snapped. So every time I put it on, I've had a, I've had a, like a snapped belt in like 20, 25 miles. It makes me think something's wrong with the belt tension naturally. So out the box without doing anything, the belt tension already was so much that it's going to snap the belt already. So it's like, you can't even ride your deck. And now I've ran through all the belts that they sent me. So I got to find a cheap place to buy belts. So that was another downside with this board. And unfortunately I barely have ridden it. I've probably ridden it like maybe a hundred miles. Uh, it's been out of commission for like a month. Me or one of my friends has to figure out like what's wrong with this belt tension and why it keeps snapping or is it something I'm doing wrong? Because he said like, I'm a big guy, so don't gun it up hills. And I purposely didn't do that and it snapped again. So besides that guys, the, the speed's really nice. The ESC is really nice. It's very responsive. It works very good, no issues. Charged like a normal ESC. The voltage jump actually wasn't that very bad on this board. It rarely, rarely happens. I just came from the backfire hammer where the voltage jump was like, I mean, way more often, probably about double or triple as often as a normal board. I really like this board, minus the issue of the belt uh, belt drives. Like I had came from the G3 and even the G2 Plus or the G2 Turbo is what it was called. And those all had enough speed. Those were uh, hub motors. So it's like, you don't have to do with any of the craps of belts. Like I never had any issues with those hub motors. So one thing, you don't have to replace anything. They just work. It's like, and they're inside the wheel. It just makes all the sense in the world. So anyways, guys, that's been my thoughts on the Meepo Aurora. It's supposed to be kind of like, I think like the Voyager, but a little bit more flashy, $100 less and less range. Tons of power, tons of range, tons of everything. Everything works great. I did really wish I had cloud wheels, but anyways, that's been my little review of the Meepo Aurora. What e-skates have you ridden? Have you ridden any electric bikes or electric scooters? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. So I hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video.